A new report alleges some El Paso City officials spent money in ways they weren't supposed to. CBS 4 at 530's Julia Spencer is live in the newsroom to let you know what she's learned about El Paso's former city manager. And the city um, looked into travel-related expenses for the city council and the former city manager over the past almost four years. But this audit revealed that the former city manager violated city policies with some of his purchases. It's definitely a misuse of power. Because like I said, he's using money that wasn't his personally, using funds that are city funds. He should have... Um done the right thing and not use the money for the people that are here in El Paso. We just make sure the policy is followed. An internal audit was done on city council in the city manager's office for their use of a city credit card and travel expenses from 2020 to 2023. The audit also reports that the former city manager was booking his flights with personal money and getting money back for them. He bought the airline ticket using his Southwest Airlines travel fund vouchers. And so he used his own personal points and vouchers for these airline tickets and then he was reimbursed with taxpayer money? Yes, ma'am. According to this audit, the city manager is also accused of making early bird purchases for flights when city policy says it isn't allowed. It specifically excludes early bird chicken. We tell you the sections in our procurement card policy and our travel policy for it's forbidden. The audit also reports that he wasn't reporting his spending the way he was supposed to. And as the years progressed, he left off more information about his purchases. You're supposed to put the account number and the oh, and the description, okay? And as you can see here, we found a lot of areas where it wasn't being done. As you can see, it looked 2020, 21, 2022. Now, Tommy Gonzalez was fired last summer, and he did receive a severance package of $890,000. When his contract was terminated last February, this package was based off of his previous contract, and his pay grew up to $442,000 when he was the city manager, which also includes three pay raises within that year. Now, I did reach out to Gonzalez about this audit. However, I am still waiting for his response. I'm reporting live in the newsroom, Julia Spencer, CBS4 at 530.